Hello, hello. So how are you guys? So hope everybody okay. Um, you all doing great. You know, staying away from COVID. You know, even though it's really hard nowadays to do that because everywhere is COVID. All right. So back to this <laughs> video. Um, I'm just going to share this. Um, um, fruit. I don't know if this is fruits or something. I don't know if you all know this. This. This is what this one. See. Yeah, that is what we call, in the Philippines, we call this um, kamyas or kalamyas. Um, I google it, um, it says it's called belimbi. So I don't know what you call that here in Trinidad, if it's the same belimbi or, or what. Or Some people said um, sour cherry or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we have this in the Philippines. I've been looking for this a while now, like years now and thing because we use this to cook in the Philippines, right? And then it so happened that one of my friends, which is really my neighbor because she's just living across the road, uh, shout out to Karina. Um, I saw her post about this. I said, wait now, that's, I know this, that thing, it's um, kalamyas. So I messaged her and then she said, she asked me, oh, really, really? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been looking for that now, way years now and stuff. So. Say, okay, and she offered if, she, if I want. I said, Okay, yes, of course I want it. Yeah, well refused, you know. <laughs> so she gave me a, a bag of it, it was plenty, so thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Um, so I told her I'm gonna make a video because when I told her that we use it to cook and stuff to dry it and thing, um, she said, oh really, because I believe we don't do that here in Trinidad and some of the Trini as well, they don't know what is this, right? But back home, we do um, use this in cooking or we also use this um, like to eat raw like this like we just dip it in a salt right salt and then like this and then just mm. it's sour but good it's really good it's really nice tastes nice when you dip it in salt we do this in the Philippines when we're young and then we, we um, always eat this, right? Pick up in the tree and then eat it. So really nice. So okay, let me do this and I'll show you guys what, um, how I'm going to slice this and um, you know, dry it under the sun, okay? All right, so let's start. So this, I wash it already, right? So gonna do, we will just, I will just cut it into um, four slices and here. And this, like this, see? Yeah, like that, four. And then I will just layer them or put them in the pan to dry. So that's it, just do the same thing. Slice it to half and then another one here. I still salivating you know, <laughs> with that um, um, when I eat it. Because it's really good. It's really sour. So we use this in, um, to cook fish like sinigang, diba? mga kababayan, sinigang, yung patis, yung may patis, my fish um, fish sauce. Sarap, tas ibabalot mo sa um, dahon ng saging. We will wrap it to the um, fig leaf, the fish, and then put the this one, the dried um, kamyas or the dried pilimbi under and then you put your fish but later on i will do a video as, of that as well um once this um kamyas dry you know i think it will take like five days or a week or i don't know less than depending on the sun you know the hatter much better it will dry fast yeah so very simple you just do that and cut it so yeah I like this because it can give a nice um, natural flavors when you cook um, something. Yeah, so it's really simple. Um, let me do this all and then I'll take how I um, layer them and then um, we'll put it on the sun to dry. Alright, so yeah. Okay, well, I'm still cutting it. <laughs> I'm still slicing it. Um, as you notice, I'm wearing gloves now because um, after I cut some, uh, uh, after I slice some, I feel um, it's kind of sticky and um, itchy. It's itching me. So I said, let me wear gloves, you know. 
Um, ah, by the way, you can use um, this as well, the fresh one. There's a fresh one in cooking, right? And then when you once it cook as well, you can eat it. Ah, well, I'm tasting the um, food now. The sinigang, nice that. Yeah. It's what we call in the Philippines, so you can add some meat on it too. Can give natural um, flavor with the sourness, you know. This is the part that I don't like slicing. Plenty, but it's good, it's plenty. Good thing she gave me plenty, yes. <laughs> Alright, well, let me <laughs> finish this up and um, I'll get back to you. Alright, so I now um, finished slicing them. Okay, so it, here it goes. See? Like that. So I'm gonna place this under the sun now outside. Okay, to dry. Uh, maybe five days or a week or depends, right? So you need to be dry, dry, dry. Okay, and then it can last up to months once it's dry. As long as you um, I um, um, keep it like in a dry container or something. Yeah? All right, so I'm excited to use this in cooking, right? Well, I don't have a fish right now, and I, I want to try the um, fresh one to cook, but maybe next time. All right, so all right, guys. So take care and enjoy your day, and always be safe. Bye.